Hey yo, what's up everybody? In this video I will try to answer the question is it worth becoming a network engineer? And actually also how to become a network engineer as soon as possible. So I will just try to give you a clear roadmap how to become one in my opinion as fast as soon as possible so let's just try to discuss this topic and if you have anything to add if you have any thoughts on this topic or you want to ask me something networking related please just ask your question in the comment section down below i will be really happy to answer and also please subscribe to my channel it makes me very happy if you do that so uh, yeah don't hesitate <laughs> okay let's just try to discuss this topic and answer the question so is it worth becoming a network engineer absolutely in my opinion from my perspective this is one of the best places to go into the best niches if you like networking so this is actually the first thing the step number zero the question that you have to ask yourself do i like networking okay this is really important more important than you think and if you do like networking this niche is one of the best niches for you to go into in my opinion so if you don't like it it will be very difficult for you really tiring because you know in this field you always have to learn something new okay every single day you have to learn something it's not like you get the job you maybe you prepare you pass your ccna and that's it you stop learning no you will have to learn something all the time so if you don't like it don't go for it okay but if you're watching this video and if you're looking for answer to this question on how to become a network engineer i guess that you like this topic and you like learning about how computers talk to each other how the internet works when it comes to the connectivity how to configure routers switches firewalls and so on and if you do like it this is one of the best niches for you to be in because you know companies need infrastructure and they will need it and they will need network engineers to do this job for them okay and this will not be replaced by ai in my opinion in the nearest future or maybe even it will be the last field or one of the last fields in it that will be actually replaced by ai so just go for it if you like it if it's interesting to you just do this man okay and now let's try to actually find a way to get your first job in networking so in my opinion just learn the networking foundations and if you have the networking foundations already just start applying for the job as soon as possible okay but what do i mean now by networking foundations and how do you get them so there are many ways for you to do that you can start preparing for the certification for example like ccna or network plus and I will also discuss the certification topic, but let's just now focus on the networking foundation. So how do you get them? Yeah, as I said, you can just start preparing for the certification or you can find another source to learn the most important things in networking. Like, you know, how the IP addresses work. What is the difference between IPv4 and IPv6 addresses? Why are we running out of IPv4 addresses? All you need to know about IP addresses. What is the OSI model? Memorize it. What is the difference between the OSI model and the TCP IP model? What are the most important protocols like DHCP, DNS, NAT and, and ARP and so on. Really understand them very well. Okay, these are the most important topics and there are more of them actually. And uh, yeah, how, how can you do that? How do you know which topics are important for you? So I come here to help you because I created a series on YouTube, the top 100 networking terms that you need to know. So these terms I put into 10 parts on YouTube series. So this is completely for free and I teach you all you need to know in my opinion all you need to know to get your first job in networking fundamental topics in this field that you need to know to get your first job so i start in the first part from the very basics and then we move forward into more difficult topics so in each part i teach you 10 terms that you need to know and we go in a logical order so i always teach you some topics second part for example is ip addresses so i teach you not only these 10 terms that you need to know but at the same time you learn all you need to know about ip addresses or most that you need to know and then if you have all of this fundamental knowledge if you go through all of these 100 terms this is not that difficult you will definitely have to spend some time and learn them very well 
and really understand these topics, then in my opinion, you can already start applying for the job because you already know what is going on and then you can start preparing for your first certification. Which one? CCNA. Don't even waste your time thinking hesitating over complicating this topic just go for the ccna this is the most recognized certification in networking in this field it's more difficult than comptia network plus you have practice you need to configure switches and routers in the labs just go for the ccna okay don't over complicate it and if you have the networking foundations for example, from my playlists, from my series on YouTube, then it will be already easier for you to study for the CCNA because you have some associations already. You know this, you know that, and it will be easier for you to prepare for the CCNA. It will be faster for sure. And in the meantime, you can already start applying for the job. So maybe you will, you will even get the job before passing the CCNA. And who knows, maybe your company will pay for your CCNA. If you can do the CCNA, if you can pass it today, let's say, do it as soon as fast as possible, of course. But if you don't have it yet, don't wait to be perfect. Don't wait to be ready because you will never be fully ready. Just start applying for the job as soon as possible every day. Don't focus on that. Keep learning, keep growing, keep increasing, improving your knowledge. And in the meantime, not focusing on that start applying for the job okay that's in my opinion the best way to do that to approach this and how can you prepare for the ccna there are many ways to do that for example you can use the ccna course on udemy i've been using the neil anderson course on udemy for ccna i really recommend it it's really very well structured i really like the way he teaches the ccna topics in his course i really recommend it but you can also choose any other course that fits you any other style of teaching you can also choose official books to study for the ccna you can choose anything you like i really like the udemy course it's only ten dollars so i recommend it okay so let's say you prepare for the ccna you have some extra time what extra can you do okay so imagine you have thousands of devices in the company that you have to manage you have to configure you have thousands of switches or routers or firewalls that you work with you need to automate this process okay and how do you automate this process you need to write scripts so learn programming okay i really recommend learning python you don't have to be a software developer but you know programming scripting is very useful in networking as well okay and now if you know programming if you know how to write scripts you're also ahead of your competition because you know many network engineers don't know how to write scripts don't know programming so if you can do that you have already advantage just learn programming learn python okay it's also fun to do that you don't have to be a programmer at a low level you don't have to write programs in c or c plus plus but you know programming is very useful so i really recommend programming to you okay so learn the networking foundations start applying for the job as soon as possible prepare for the ccna learn programming and you will be really successful in this field if you like it, this is the most important factor, in my opinion. If you like it, you will get it, okay? If you have any questions about this topic, if you want to discuss anything further, if you want me to talk about any other topic, please let me know in the comment section down below. I will be really happy to answer your questions and talk about this further. If you want to contact me directly, you can do that on LinkedIn or on Instagram. I'm pretty active on both of these platforms. My nickname on Instagram is 0xdaras, exactly as on YouTube. So hit me up if you have any questions, if you want to discuss anything with me personally. Okay, I wish you good luck. I wish you a successful life. Thank you for watching. <laughs>